to California, seen the sights and people there. Hi, I'm Michael. And I'm Grace. And we're California, California Travel, Travel Videos. Videos. And welcome back to episode number dos, number two. And I do mean number two, because this time we're going to be taking a look at what? Plumbing. Plumbing and, and water too. There's some fresh stuff to this episode. So don't run away and we're going to take a look at our boxes of things that we brought in door number two. Okay? Okay. Okay, off we go. Well, okay, so I believe it's time to suit up as we get ready to take a look at the gear for um, the plumbing. Well, I hope we won't need these outside, but we're going to try to look just a little bit more ready for action. So um, we've got gloves. Sometimes you want to wear gloves when you're out there doing you know what. Those of you who have taken care of the famous or infamous black water supply. But let's see what we've got here. We're going to take a look through. So first off, um, well, here's something that everybody should have, is the water bandit. Now the water bandit is nice because what it allows you to do is, even though you may not have a faucet to screw onto, is you just slip it over the end and get some water pressure. You may have to hold it, clip it down, but um, that's something that everybody should have. And uh, you know, sometimes the water pressure can be a little too high when you do hookups, so this is a water pressure restrictor so you don't get over 50 pounds per square inch and all of a sudden you start blowing the roof or something off of your rv when you get too much water pressure you don't want to break valves and how about this a 90 degree elbow that is kind of nice to have just to be sure that you don't put too much pressure especially if it's coming into your rv or if you have something you need to hook up to but it's a, a tough angle to get to so that starts off with a little bit and um, what next well this is a 50 foot hose, so um, nice fittings on the end of it, and it'll take a good amount of pressure, so very nice to have to keep things clean, as, as well as to get water to your RV. And um, all right, well next, the Happy Camper Odor Free. So yes, this is the holding tank treatment to keep things smelling fresh as a rose. What are you trying to say? Uh, some people, um, they're not always rose queens. Inside, we have um, a very nice shower head so that you get, it feels like a lot of pressure, I understand, but yet you still don't use your water up too quickly for those of us who take long showers. That would not be you, would it, Grace? No. Okay. So anyway, that's, uh, we're going to put on, that's a Oxygen X. And um, if we really want to go all the way with pressure regulators, then here you go. You can actually adjust the pressure and see what the pressure is. Lead free, oh boy, all the goodies. And you know, it weighs about a pound or two. So all of a sudden is Rihanna starting to get more weight here and there. And now I gotta say, we like multi-ply toilet paper. Who doesn't? <laughs> But um, when you're in an RV, and if you don't have sonic detectors on the side like the new Winnebago's have, you know, you'd want to be sure that you don't have things sticking as your valve goes up and down in your black water tank. And next thing you know is you've got some blockages, not good. So this is toilet tissue, clog free for your recreational vehicles. So nice thing to have, not necessary, but um, if you don't, there may be someday, uh-oh, now it's time to go uh, maybe flaps down. So we're gonna gear up, suit up, and we're gonna be ready to go in and see what some of the heavy duty stuff. Okay, first off, when you're hooking up your black water hose, you wanna have some clear so that you know the job is finished and that you are indeed is able to make sure you got fresh water going through. Cause it's not much fun from what I hear and I'm sure I'll have some videos to show you later, <laughs> that when um, you think you've got everything out, you disconnect it, oops, no, no, sorry, no. not quite there yet. And of course, your hose. You don't want to get hosed up, so you want to have one. Now this one does have a valve, nine degree, and notice over here that it has a flange with multiple angles so that you can be sure is that, depending upon where you're hooking up to, you can still hook up to your black water tank and get a good connection. So nice 15 foot hose, but wait, there's more. Here's another Rhino Flex right here. So just to be sure, if it is like a long run, you can go up to 30 feet in those tough situations. 
So I think that takes care of the stuff for the plumbing and most of the water. Oh, I'm sure there's some more, um, such as, where do they go? Well, somewhere around here is, yes, the gloves. I won't actually be wearing these nice pretty red gloves, but you do want to have some cleaning gloves. So when you're outside doing you know what, you can go ahead and have clean hands by keeping your flesh off of the stuff and then wash up the gloves afterwards. So I think that pretty much takes care of it. So until next time, happy trails to you. And I hope to see you on part three of California travel videos where we're going to start taking a look at cleaning supplies. Okay, until then, have a great day. Bye for now. Have you been to California? Seen the sights and people there? Walked the streets of sleepy sea towns Tasted salty ocean air